Plotly is our data visualization library in the Python. It is actually written in JavaScript library. But in this video series, we will going to use the Python wrapper library. That means we will going to write a code in the Python and it will produce the JavaScript code. Hey guys, welcome to the Plotly introduction video. This is the Plotly series. In this series, I'm going to discuss about the Plotly library this and the different kind of a data visualization which we can draw with the help of a plotly already we have the matplotlib and the cbond library in the python but we have a lot of advantages to learn this plotly so before starting this video let ask the question to ourselves why we going to learn plotly what is the benefits and what are the advantages in the to learn plotly as a visualization library plotly has a lot of advantages compared to the other visualization library in the python plotly comes in the interactive uh, graphic library that means it will have the hover property you will put your mouse to the curve it will show you the x axis and the y axis uh, uh, values another it is very easy to plot the basic graphs by writing the few lines of a code it's extremely customizable and many more advantages don't worry in the at, at the end of this series you will know these all the advantages so let's talk about the plotly library how we can create the figures in the plotly so we can create the figure in plotly by the three different ways one is the plotly express another is the plotly graph object and third one is a plotly figure factory plotly express is a very easy to produce the basic charts in the python but it is a less customizable compared to the python graph objects we have a lot of methods in the graph object dot bar or graph dot graph object dot scatter plot which we can make more customized according to our uh, creativity and the power of visualization to tell the complex results from the data to the business people or to anybody third one is a plotly figure factory it is much more in an advanced level before going to draw some kind of a plots or some kind of a figures with the help of a plotly let's see what actually the plotly figure contain the plotly figure can be represented as a dictionary in a python or it can be instances from the plotly graph object dot figure class so the plotly figure has three main component the one first one is a layout layout is actually control the style or the look of a figure Third, second component is a data and the last one is trace trace is nothing trace is our data point plus the plot which you want to draw so that this that is a trace after talking about the figure component let's draw the first figure in the plot so to draw the first figure with the help of a plotly i am going to consider this data set that is the data set coming from the kaggle 2021 data science survey analysis this is the this data set why i choose to show you the basics of plotly because it have a lot of categories so let's if you talk about the question one its question one is about what is the age of the pupils are participating in data science my motive to show here only how we can draw the figure so i am not deep dive to that this data set to explain what is this data set i am just going to take the question number one and i am going to show you how we can plot the figure in plotly so uh, df21 that is a data set name q1 that is a what is your age and i just pass the value count so to plot any figure we need two things we need one is the index that is mostly we put in the x axis and the value that is goes to the y uh, y axis as already i told plotly figures can be represented as a dictionary so let's create a dictionary to draw the figure so i'm going to write the figure is equal to dictionary i open the dictionary here then the what are the main three component one is a data one is a layout one is a trace so first i am going to define the data in a dictionary so let's uh, i define the data so data is a key and uh, the data is come in the list of a dictionary so first i have to define the list then uh, then i have to be defined in the dictionary i have to be pass here the type so which kind of a uh, plot we want we have to be pass here so i want the bar chart 
then we have to be define the x axis and the y axis so after defining the data the next component come is a layout so we have to again we have to be passed as a key so layout is so what exactly layout uh, control a uh, layout control the style of a figure like you have to be passed some title and you have to be change that title font and anything whatever the related to the look of the figure it's come under the layout so i'm going to pass here the text and i'm going to show you how you can do so data you cover the layout you cover now to show this figure how we can show i'm going to import plotly.io as and then just pass pio.show as we told in the starting of this video the plotly is very easy to plot any kind of a figure but did you not feel this is a little bit complex to draw this figure even to draw one figure we are going to write the list of dictionary we are going to write the dictionary if you not think uh, this is very hard to remember maybe for me it is yes so i am not going to draw the figure with the help of plotly.io i am going to use the plotly graph objects library so plotly graph objects gives me a uh, lot of functionality compared to the simple dictionary which i can write few lines of a code and i can get the figure more good compared to this there are the lot of uh, advantages to use the graph object over the simple dictionary you can go to the documentation and check otherwise you can watch this uh, full series and you will learn at the end what are these benefits to use the graph object so i am going to show you the same figure with the help of a graph object in three lines of a code let's see how we do in the graph object so for the graph object i am going to import first library that one then i am going to define one figure so figure is is uh, go dot figure and then just pass what the method you want to draw and uh, inside this we going to pass our the data we going to pass our data in a in a list so that data is go dot bar we call the bar chart we pass the x axis and we pass the y axis and the third line is write the fig dot show so figure dot show will show you the same plot exactly the same plot that's as we see by writing the this uh, little bit complex lot of dictionary by using the simple figure and that's all for this video as this video is an introductory video to plotly i hope you will get some sense what is a plotly and how we will draw the different kind of a data visualization don't worry in the next couple of videos we will cover more basics first compared to draw some kind of a visualization we're going to cover update layout we're going to cover the add trace function we're going to draw the subplots and we will understand the math behind the subplot and how will how we will change the uh, our uh, basic how we will make more customizable graph then we will start the plotly uh, in details and we will learn every chart how much is possible in this video if you like this video then please like share and subscribe the channel and uh, thanks to watching this video